I mean, I would recommend like if you have investor clients, like, you know, sit down with them and actually have a discussion with them and be open and humble. And, you know, it, I think a lot of agents avoid doing that because they're like, well, I'm the agent, I'm, I'm the expert, I'm supposed to know everything. But a lot of agents that I know that even specialize in working with investors don't even own any investment properties themselves. Yeah. And in my conversations with them, they really don't even understand like the basic fundamentals of how the business works, you know, how leverage, how leverage works, how to manage risk and stuff like that. So, um, so I mean, I recommend like, yeah, you have a captive audience with, you know, with investor clients, like, you know, sit down with them and, and, you know, quote unquote, you know, pick their brain. Uh, and, you know, just surrounding yourself with people that are actually actively doing it will build your confidence level um, because you're like, well, all right, this fool can do it. Like I can do it too. And real estate, you know, investing, it's the idiot's business. That's the reason why I got involved with it is because like, Same I'm here. not the, you know, Same here. I'm, I'm not the smartest guy in the room. I'm risk adverse. Um, you know, I, you know, I'm not going to start up some, you know, tech company with, that's going to, you know, where I'm going to produce the next, you know, killer app or anything like that. I'm just not that smart. Um, so, so yeah, I mean, that's my, that's my suggestion. And, um, there's like, you know, out of the many hundreds of agents that I know, um, there's probably only like a, a few of them that have ever bought an investment property. And that's like, and that's not right. So. Yeah, I always um, tell people like I used to do like a lot of speaking, and one of the things I used to say every I, I don't I, I don't like repeating myself because <laughs> it bore it bores me. But one thing I always used to say in every single presentation is like I I had this little slide up, and it was like a bunch of of people standing in a room, and like some of them I had labeled as like successful investors, and some of them I had labeled as just average everyday people who have never invested. And I said, if you mixed up all these people in the room right now, you would never be able to just from like a two minute conversation, know who's like this super successful, wealthy person. And just this person who's never invested, because like you said, it, it's just somebody doing it. Like, it, it's not like, like, I, I think that was like my realization because it took me, it took me like three or four years to do my first investment deal. Mm -hmm. And I remember like going to these networking groups and I would meet these people that were like doing it. And I'd be like, Oh my, what? Like this person's doing it. And I don't mean to even say that like in a negative way, it was just like this person that like was just average every day, like myself. And they were doing all these big things. And I'm like, how are they doing it? And what everyone told me is just like, they took action. And that's like, that's really the difference. And like, you know, um, you know, you talk to people, it, like I talk to people all the time on like my show and other shows and just, you know, nationally. And it's like the people who are like, you know, way up here, it's like, they just kept doing stuff and the people you could be super smart, but you never took any action. And it's like, you never go up and it's, it's just, it, I mean, it's so simple, but it's also something that like, I always repeat because it's so true. 